Nora Murphy is a Newtown interior designer whose business, Connecticut Country House, focuses on styling and decorating the home. Today, Nora is going to show us how you can present and wrap beautiful holiday gifts. Um, I love the simplicity, again, of tissue paper as the wrapping paper. And, what I, and again, beautiful wine, beautiful label, don't need anything else. What I do is I take a piece of tissue, here too I can take a piece of tape so it just helps me to line it up, roll it, make my other little piece of tape, put it towards the base, and then I just fold it in. beauty is, I'm going to take my other tried and true, it's my raffia. And it's a beautiful natural thing. And what I do is I go around like that and tie. Now the beauty here with raffia is you like it to look wild and, and messy. That's the beauty of it. Now, I usually just take it like this. One of the things I love to do too is to um, put a card. Just take my hole punch in the corner. Take this piece of raffia. And just like I've done on all the other packages too, is I just put it through the hole. finger through and pull it through. There you go. Beauty is the wine. And then to take it up a notch for the holidays, I found this at a flea market. Little toll painted galvanized metal piece. One in one side, one in the other beautiful Christmas present right there. Scarves, fabulous gifts for anybody on your holiday gift giving list. So what do I do here? I don't have a box for him. So my trusty tissue paper, and I'm just gonna roll him in the tissue, just like I would roll the bottle of wine. Let me show you what you could do. You could either, we can cover this with paper, which is what I'm gonna do, so I'm gonna, keep one end for that use. Or I can pinch it like a Tootsie Roll and tie it with a ribbon. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take it further. And again, anything wrapped in tissue paper really makes it all the more special and precious. So this part is not very neat, but don't worry about it. It's going to look like a piece of red candy. But again, cut off excess paper and don't worry, your ex this little piece is going to be perfect for a little jewelry box or a small book or CD. So keep all your scraps. And then this one, I'm going to fold. I always love a nice clean folded edge. I'm going to use both, and I'm going to pull. I'll probably pull more than I need. Okay. And I'm going to bunch it very quickly. And I'm with one hand, I'm holding it, and I'm going to wrap it around. There we go. And I'm going to give it a good tie. Here too, I want to keep a lot of my loops. And actually what I can do here too is I can, I can even make more loops. Just keep tying it. Take one of your tacks. Actually, I can even add it to this side since he needs a little extra. Oh, that worked out beautifully because I needed an extra 
tie anyway. So I'll add it to that side. Oops. Around this way. There we go. And there you have it. Merry Christmas. Hope you love your scarf. Little acetate bags that I bought. And what's really pretty is that I'm going to take one and I can use this little piece or not, but I'm going to use him today. It's a little piece of cardboard you put on the bottom. And you probably, when you go to gourmet shops, you see that things are packaged this way. And the beautiful thing is you can do it that way yourself as well. And I have these meringues, simple meringues. I pinched the top. I think I'm going to use a piece of organza ribbon. We haven't done that yet. And I'm going to make it, see it just looks very snowy and frothy, just white on white. You can't go wrong with white on white. You can keep your tails a little bit long, it's a little too long. This one I'm just putting in an angle. And there you have it, very simple, very pretty. I have a similar thing to do with a candle. Crinkle in, place my candle, fabulous candles by the way, the Sydney Hale Company, <laughs> it's so fragrant. I get them positioned in there and then I kind of just stuff this and it looks like it's like snow because I have these little stars uh, that I bought at a craft shop, really, really inexpensive. I can tuck it in here. Simple little bow. There you have it. It's really pretty. It's kind of what's nice about it too. You really can't tell what it is until you start to open it. All right, one really unexpected present, but it is the gift that keeps on giving, is bulbs. Whether it's amaryllis bulbs, paper white bulbs, and what's wonderful is once it gets planted, in about two to three weeks, you have a beautiful, fragrant pot. Really pretty. Now, one thing I can do here, too, is I take my clippers and pretty little pine. I can stick right in here. Oops. Which makes it look really natural. I really love that. Again, it's, you don't know what it is, but it's something very unexpected. Bulbs are works of art, you know, nature's works of art anyway. And I have this beautiful acid green organza ribbon. Give it a little cut, a little cut. And here's a little unexpected thing too. Put a little starfish on there. And what I'm gonna do with him is I have that wonderful linen twine. And just like I've been doing with the tags, I'm gonna do it through my starfish. Kind of lasso him. There you have it. 